Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome to our special event, Simplifying Work with AppSheet Automations. I'm joined with Deanna today. How's it Hello. going, Deanna? It is good. I'm excited to be here, Austin. Sweet. Well, like I said, today we're going to be going over simplifying work with AppSheet Automations. Deanna, what are you excited about today? You know, well, I'm just, I'm excited to show you all this course, but I'm also excited because it is your birthday. It is my birthday. What are you, 21, 22? Uh, uh, a sure. little higher. All right, all right. Well, yeah. Austin, are we ready to break the ice here with some with some fun? I guess so. Okay, well, guys, I, we I have I've hidden a, a little birthday present for Austin under the table mm -hmm. that he's gonna he's gonna go ahead and join us on, you know, and just let y'all share in the fun because it's his birthday and that's exciting. So, Austin, if you will, go ahead and pull that out. Let's see. Open it up. Is. Okay. Oh. While he's doing that, guys, I would love to hear uh, where you're from. And um, there's yep, a present. Yep. Hip, All hip, right. hooray. hip, hip, hooray. Uh, in the chat, what? if you just want to drop where you're from, that would be yeah. awesome. And what do you guys think Deanna got me for my birthday? Ooh. I want to know what you think. I have no idea what it could be. <laughs> well, I, I behaved. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see. So again, in the chat, if you'll just drop it, what do you think I got it for his birthday? He's gonna go ahead and open it. We're gonna we're gonna keep we're gonna this party out. going. We're gonna find out real quick. Oh, all right. Oh, Nigeria, Mexico. That's awesome. What you got, Austin? I got a Waterburger gift card. Woo! Oh yes. I don't know. I'm I'm doubting they have Whataburger in Nigeria, uh, but man, my favorite fast food place. Yeah, I just I just never understood it. We asked him, "What's your favorite place to eat?" He said Whataburger, and I'm like, ah, "Okay." Got so, a card? Yeah, there's a card. It's a really funny one. You should open that. Okay. Sucker. Okay, I'll open that too. So while he is doing and... that, what's your favorite food? Somebody tell me. And then what is your favorite dessert? Because right now he's staring at some cookies. Okay. Uh, I was like, I couldn't tell if it was a muffin or a cookie. No, no. I hope that's not a muffin, Austin. <laughs> that would be weird. Thank you, guys. I really so, appreciate it. Oh, barbecue. Kindle, I see you there. From H-E-B, you guys. Also, this video is not sponsored by Whataburger <laughs> or H-E-B, but I love both of those places. <laughs> Hey, if they want to send us money, we yeah. will, we will <laughs> yes. gladly accept. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's see what this card says, Deanna. It says, this is the cheesiest birthday card I could find <laughs> with cheese on the birthday card. That's it. I just, I needed something extra cheesy for you, Austin. Happy birthday. So glad to know you. Blue Bell ice cream. Yes, Kendall. Nice. All right, guys. Well... We are so glad you're here <laughs> and excited to get started with you. Happy birthday, Austin. Um, you, you do guys. so much for crew, and we just are so thankful for all that you do. Thanks, so. Deanna. I love working here. It's exciting times. I just love the energy of the office. And yeah. Yeah. Glad uh, to this be is here a good spot. I was telling somebody yesterday, I've never worked in a job where I get to Sundays and I'm like, ah. Can't wait to get to work. That's right. It's like, oh, it's so good. Um, but don't work on Sundays, guys. Take a break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's always good to take some breaks. Awesome. So it looks like some people in the chat were saying they, what is their favorite foods? Some barbecue, bluebell ice yeah. cream. We got some other people joining from Mexico and Nigeria. Awesome. Nice to see y'all. We Glad also have a couple of people. Sorry, Austin, but our friend Kendall is actually working for crew now um, and helping with building training. So Let's go. next What's month up, when y'all are seeing the next course, you're going to Kendall will be working on that with us. And so we are excited to have her here. Woo. Um, I have had that rice and it is fantastic. I traveled to. Um, man, yeah, I, I don't even remember where I had it. It was so good. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, but yeah, welcome Kendall guys to the team. Um, we're excited to have her here. Yes, we are. 
and I think she actually helped uh, get some of this course loaded in. Is that right, Deanna? Yeah, she did. She yeah. was my right hand this week. Um, awesome. For sure. Uh, she, man, she just jumped into this job. It, it wasn't, you know, we're trying to onboard her and she's just way too good for that. So yeah. she just, <laughs> just got right in. <laughs> Let's go. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm excited about this new course. Uh, let's see. We got David and joining us. That's awesome. Nice. Sweet. Yeah. Um, I forgot what I was going to say now. You're excited about this new course because yes. it's mm -hmm. going to be awesome. It is going to be awesome. I'm excited because it's like all about automations and that is a tricky concept to learn yeah. in AppSheet. So, um, but can we, can we dive in? You ready to dive in? I'm ready to dive in. All is right. it time to dive in? I think it's Are time we... to dive in. All, All right. right. Let's, well, let's get this thing to, rock and rolling. I want to first, sorry, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm. Go for it. Following this magic script you wrote, Austin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what you got? I got to tell y'all in the chat, we don't, we don't follow a script well. We just, we just have one. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> um, but I want, first want to thank Austin for putting these events together together every month. Um, we work really hard each month to develop a training from scratch uh, to push out to y'all. And so Austin works really hard to show off that training, but also give us space to tell y'all about it instead of just saying, hey, we posted it. Mm -hmm. um, so thank you, Austin. Yeah. I'm excited to share what it's what it is this month. Like last month when we were here doing this for our advanced logic course, it, you know, I wasn't quite sure how this one would be. And so it's fun to have it done. And then I have to do one more, just a shout out to our friend, Justin. If you have him with development or consulting, uh, he is the builder of this course. And so um, he did a fantastic job and uh, has, has, I really think built something of quality for us. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, we're excited to have everybody joining us on the live stream today and ready to get started with our agenda and um, help you guys see what is coming in this new course. So again, if you're a pro subscriber, you already have access to this course. If you're not, we'll talk about that at the end um, and get you set up to be a pro subscriber. So that way you can get access to all this great content. Um, so we'll kind of kick things off with Deanna and we'll do an interview. Um, at first, and then she'll show you guys the new course, and then we'll have time for a live Q and A at the end. So make sure to stick around so you can get your questions answered um, live on YouTube. All right. So by the end of the special event, you will learn how AppSheet automations can help you simplify work. So that's what we've got in store today. Um, so make sure you're thinking about some questions you may have about how. Um, your different workflows in office right now or out of office or wherever you're working from, um, how you can translate those over to AppSheet automations and maybe how this course can help you create those automations. All right. And then we're going to get straight into our interview with Deanna. You ready, Deanna? Hey, I'm, I was born ready, Austin. Let's go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and remove our slideshow. And I'll just awesome. be me and you. And let's get into the interview. So our first question for today is, can you tell us a little bit more about why automations are essential part of building functional apps and AppSheet? Yes, yes. So I, in trying to answer this question, I actually researched AppSheet and what its purpose was. Like from the start, why did they make AppSheet? Yeah. Um, which was quite funny to research because there are a lot of people with a lot of opinions of why they made AppSheet. Um, mm -hmm. But here's what I found the most. Yeah. AppSheet exists to um, create a platform where people that are actually dealing with the business problems can be the solution to the business problems, the builder yeah. of that solution yeah. within AppSheet. And so that being said, it was like, oh, automations seems to be like the thing that shows that goal the most because I can take a business process and I can yeah. take that process and put it within app sheet and, and actually see problems solved. So right. I need to send a report to an admin, boom, app sheet can do that. 
Yeah. Uh, I need to notify someone when they click this button. Oops. Please think about this. App she can do that too. And so, um, yeah. And that's just the beginning. Just the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. That it, although automations, dive into a little bit of the more advanced side of app sheet that is like the essential part of using the tool right um because everything else is is the visualization of your data and then the automations come in to actually help with streamlining all of your other tools that you're used to using like gmail calendar right. um pdf reports all of that stuff so yeah really cool well, not only that uh, you can go ahead and lead into that next question, Austin, which I think yeah. uh, perfectly suits what you just said. If mm -hmm. automations can easily show you where the other weaknesses are within your app sheet app, because uh -huh. if, if you don't have a strong foundation, then trying to build automations kind of struggles a little bit. So this course is for people that understand some of the basics of app sheet, that they right. can build strong data structure, that they can understand the use of expressions so if you walk into this course we don't teach you a lot of here's how this expression works we teach you a lot of here are expressions you can use to make this automation work efficiently and yeah. so there needs to be some kind of background in just general app sheet but at the same time this course um walks through each of the ways to solve business processes and what's possible um, while building upon what, what are the different components made up in automation? Like what, what are we doing within there and what are we mm -hmm. working with and what is important to know about our app before we get started? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's really key. Um, we were talking earlier about how, you know, automations help you create those workflows that you're used to having. Um, and but it all starts with the data structure and the database. Yeah. And so all of the other courses kind of lead into that. Um, so with that, what are the different types of learning experiences people can expect from this new course? Yeah, I, um, man, I love this question every time because yeah. I read some research uh, and I don't remember the guy that said this one, but he talked about a learning experience being like a well-played orchestra or movie. Yeah. Um, and, and that's exactly what we do in these courses is we try to build an ebb and a flow and, and some kind of thing to like crescendo into a lab and be like, Oh, here's, here's us implementing everything we've learned thus far mm -hmm. um, down to like a soft, like, Hey, here's a quiz to make sure you're getting it before we move to the next step. Yeah. And so there's a lot of movement and purposeful interaction happening to build mm -hmm. a course yeah. like we've built. Yeah. Um, so within this course, you're going to get a template app where uh, we are going to build within that app, but it's already an established app. It works just as it is. Right. Um, and so you're going to get that. You're going to get a few PDFs that are printable. So for instance, we talk about actions because, um, actions help with automation. Yeah. Uh, and so in that, uh, we have a PDF that we've made to talk about the different option, uh, actions available in app sheet. There's too many A words here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, and that PDF is massive because trying to remember, oh, what does this action do? What's available mm -hmm. here? How can I use this? Yeah. I don't have to think through that. I have something I can print out and just have at my desk. Right. Um, you get four labs and we've built them very differently in this course, which is exciting to me. We have taken two of those labs and broken them up to where they fit within the module structures. Yeah. And then we have built two others to test from start to finish your abilities. Nice. Uh, and then lastly, we are giving you a developer who has spent 38 plus hours a week developing apps for all kinds of different companies. And mm -hmm. he's the one presenting automations to you so that you walk away knowing like, oh, he, he has a wealth of knowledge um, to, to grow anything you're trying to do because right. he's seeing businesses from all over. Yeah. So awesome. Yeah. It's really cool to see the development process from a developer's 
experience because then you're getting best practices. And I always go back to the concept of you don't know what you don't know. Yeah. And so with the developer's experience, you now know what a developer knows, and then you can start doing more research on your yeah. own. Um, okay, so how does this course help our students uh, with their certification? Yeah, so this course, um, first of all, if you don't know about our certification, it is called the Business Creator Certification. It comes with your pro subscription, um, and we've built it to literally sign off and provide like a printable thing of objectives that says, hey, by saying that you are certified here, it, it shows that you can do this, 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 and this in app sheet. Well, one of the this is, <laughs> and one of the highest, ha the hardest questions within the certification, and there's a few of them, are about bots and are about the process of when should I use a data change action versus, you know, when should I do a scheduled event and how, why would I do which one? Um, and so this, this cert, this course covers the foundations of automation. It also defines that server side versus client side, which is directly questioned within our certification. Um, and then the other thing it does is it walks through each building block of building a bot and app sheet to cover the uses and limitations of each of those pieces. And so you'll walk into that certification a little more prepared than when you started. Uh, and it dives deeper than the other courses that we've talked about that were made for it. So. Awesome. Very cool. Um, all right. So, um, Kind of moving forward, what separates these training sessions from the free content that we find on Google and YouTube? So uh, first, you know, I don't know what I don't know. Like, right. and so we build every course and we say, hey guys, can this be Googled? If it can be Googled, then we need to do better because we don't want you to pay for something you could just Google. But at the same time, we understand you don't know what you don't know. And so what we do is we look at our courses and we say, okay, we're going to start with foundations of automations. So what are the pieces? What is an automation? Why am I calling it a bot instead of an automation? What does that mean? Like all of those questions. So we look at, you know, what documentation is available out there? What, what um, things do we hit as frustrating roadblocks in building yeah. bots in app sheet because there are some frustrating roadblocks like we explore all of those things and then we build around it mm -hmm. so i'm gonna say you can google whatever you want right like have a blast but right. this course is going to be better uh yeah, because yeah. it not only shows you the how mm -hmm. that a lot of documentation can show you mm -hmm. It shows you why do we build automations? What automations do we build for certain circumstances? Mm -hmm. When do we use them? Where can I use them? For instance, I learned that there are a couple parts that you build that you can just continue to reuse. And AppSheet keeps track of all of that usage. And it's like, well, that's efficient because yeah. I don't have to recreate things. Like, yeah. And so yeah. this... This training session, just like all of our others, I promise you cannot just be found on Google. Right. Um, yeah. Sweet. Awesome. Yeah. That That's really what's so powerful about AppSheet is that it's a data-driven um, platform. And so as opposed to like drag and drop solutions um, that help you, you know, build a user interface, AppSheet is going to take data and dynamically change values for you and so you don't have to go back in and manually enter and stuff every time which yeah. is kind of what your um your point about the um you know changing the values and stuff um it also allows you to copy automations um there's certain ways you have to do that so be careful with copying automations but i'm sure that this course goes into that as well yeah um which is pretty awesome but yeah you don't know what you don't know. And I think the biggest takeaway from any course, not just ours, but any course that you're going to take in general, when you find, you know, valuable information, you're going to know how to make a more targeted search 
so that you're not searching in the dark for the solution that you need. So you, if you get into our course or any other company's course, you now have a targeted way to search for items or solutions that you're trying to solve for. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, Deanna. So what are some other new courses in the pipeline? Listen, this transition from this course to August one is like the most exciting one to me. Yeah. Um, so we're going to kick off a new series in August called app sheet integrations, and we're going to revisit it through several months through the end of the year. But what I've been learning is that AppSheet has, yes, some very powerful things within it, but there's some, there's a lot of things you can leverage outside of AppSheet with AppSheet apps uh, that make workflow incredible. So for instance, right now at Crew, I review all of the things that go external. So the things y'all are seeing on our social media accounts or whatever are, they come through my desk. Well, they come through my desk through an AppSheet app where I don't have to go to the app. I can just participate through an email that is sent from Austin. And so we have built a, or we are building right now, <laughs> a training about dynamic email and document generation. So integrating AppSheet um, and the power of AppSheet beyond AppSheet. So how do we use Gmail integration? How do we use um, templates to the full? You know, we cover some of those within this course. We covered them in the last course, but not to this extent. And then the other part of that course that is brand new that I'm very excited about is I will actually be writing a module on design principles. So what things should you know about your app? What, what colors should you stay away from for, you know, to make it able to be viewed by all? Uh, what what things should you consider when you're developing that PDF to make it nice, um, no matter how much data is thrown into it? So all of that is going to be explored in this course, which has been asked for by several of our people. Um, so we're just going to do it, you know? So cool. I'm excited. Good. Yeah. So the next course is that templates course. Is that right? Yeah. Well, yeah. it's dynamic email and document generation. Awesome. Very cool. Yeah, I I love the dynamic emails and the document generations. It's just so cool to see dynamic information on your Google Docs and and then seeing views from AppSheet in your email inbox. Um, yeah. And you guys are probably familiar with it if you use Gmail because when you share a slide, um, like a Google slide deck, that's a version of dynamic email because you're seeing live comments um but then with app sheet you can now create customized dynamic emails so it's just so powerful um what what app sheet is doing with 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 data driven applications yeah awesome all right so moving on so far what are you most excited about on this course Ooh. oh i think this is going to be for the chat as well so um yep. Yeah, you're you're just I'm, over here popping questions. I'm moving too fast, guys. It's your birthday, I guess. <laughs> it's, it's my allowed. birthday. I got too excited. Okay. Um let's see. We were on You're gonna throw me into course. the slides. Yes. Okay, so let's go back to our um new course release, right? You're not twenty one anymore, Austin. <laughs> <laughs> my I'm I'm getting ahead of myself, guys. I'm sorry, I'm just too excited. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, so Deanna is going to hop into the new course release. Um, and so let's get ready to see the new course. And I also want to mention, I've been chatting with a few of y'all in the chat about some of your use cases. Um, at the end, we'll have an opportunity to connect as well. Um, if you want to set up a tech talk with us, you can meet with one of our experts here at AppSheet Training. You'll um, probably meet with Kale. And um, he can walk you through what are best use cases for AppSheet, which ones uh, we may recommend another platform. But yeah, if you want to get those types of questions answered on how to get started with your specific use case, we'd love to meet with you and kind of chat about um, what you're looking to build with AppSheet. Yes, Austin, I am having a technical difficulty which is probably because I'm the person 
doing it. So if yeah. you will, just click me in the yeah. slides and let me run with you. Awesome. Okay, so the new course release, are you, um, this would be where you can hop over to. I know, Apache and that's training. the part where I'm stuck. So, oh, okay. no, no it's, no, it's not. You're getting ahead of yourself. Click that next button. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, so we um, before we show you that new course, we want to mm -hmm. have you on the edge of your sheet, seat about it. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, <laughs> so the new course is called Automations and App Sheet, an Introduction to Bots. Um, and so the, you know, just to give you an overview of what this course is going to do truly, the number one, when I asked our developers, I was like, man, automations are my favorite. Several of them go, <sighs> and I was like, why? <laughs> like, they're so great. And they were like, they are great, but there are some pieces to building them that can be frustrating. And mm -hmm. so I actually like took a poll as I walked around the office and I was like, what are those things? What causes the frustration? And so this course is built around some of those parts of frustrations um, so that we can bring clarity to what we think are so are a great feature in AppSheet. Right. Awesome. The other thing is the content is built logically. I would love to think that all content is built logically, uh, but I would, you know, be way too prideful to say that there. Yeah, no. So I'm going to humbly say that this content is built in a logical manner to help bring clarity. And then the other thing this course does is that it solves actual business problems. So, hey, I need a admin to go ahead and uh, get a report if this happens, we're going to show you that problem and then how to solve it. So Austin, if you'll just hit that next arrow, bud. All right. So a couple of course highlights. Uh, the modules are broken down by actually the, the pieces of a bot, what, what builds a bot. Um, so we talk about the anatomy and then we go into events and then we go into processes and steps and then we cover task last uh, because that is the order in which you build. Um, the labs, you're going to learn how to generate an email report based on a data change. You're going to learn how to generate a weekly report based on a scheduled event. You're going to learn how to send a text message from your app. You're also going to learn how to send a weekly alert in AppSheet. Like while they're in your app, boom, weekly alert that happens as soon as they get in there. Uh, my favorites. Um, I don't, you know, Austin, I can't say I've ever like truly had favorites so far in the course builds until yeah. this one. Yeah. Uh, but my favorites are the way we built the labs. We have embedded them within the modules as pieces. So okay. module one or module two events, you're going to start lab one, but you mm -hmm. will not finish it until the last lab or in yeah. the last module. And so we've built it so that the labs are integrated into the content. The other thing are the options. So we mm -hmm. go through like processes, steps, and tasks. There are different ways you can build them to maximize efficiency and to also help with like runtime and all of that in your application. And so we talk about, hey, you can build this these three different ways. And here's why you would use this one versus this one versus this one. Mm -hmm. um, so we give you reasoning so that you can take that course and implement it into your own builds. Um, nice and understand the concepts over the actions that you're doing. Very cool. And then lastly, it's the workflow for me. The, the way we've built, the way we've built this course, we wanted it to feel like something you can like grab onto and go, okay, this is, this is part one. So when mm -hmm. I'm looking at that image that and I'll show y'all in the course, like there's an image that app sheet uses for an automation. And it's like this rectangle and you see events and you see processes and you see the things in the process. And it's like, but what does that mean um, down to the full picture? Well, we built a course from start to finish to show you that flow to finish a pro to, to get a finished product with an automation in app sheet. Yeah. So very cool. Yeah. All right. All right. So with this course, um, you get an app template. In mm -hmm. there, you have structured data, you have custom views, and you have custom actions that are already set up. Uh, so you can take that and you can use it for yourself. Um, if you're needing some help and you're stuck, then this is a great app that you could start with to look at. How did we set this up? What were we doing here? 
Mm -hmm. uh, but then if you participate in this course, so with that pro subscription, you'd get access to this course. Um, if you participate in that course, you will then learn how to add the notification components, the automations to the finished app product. Awesome. So, um, yeah. So yeah. if you guys have stuck around with us till now, um, this app template is actually in the description below on YouTube. So if you want to grab that template and see what's in the app, see how um, it can help you with your workflows, it's free to use. Um, and you just copy and customize it and add it to your um, portfolio of apps um, and kind of get rocking and rolling with our our new course and see if it's a good fit for you and what you want to learn in AppSheet. Yeah. All right. How about these labs, Deanna? Ah, so here's lab one. As you see on that little uh, image, you have an email notification coming through. So what we did was we broke it up into part A, B, and C. Part A is going to be found in module two. Part B is in module three. And part C is in module four. But the end result is going to be that you're going to be able to generate a report on user request through a button press. So, hey, I'm finished with this. I've done everything I needed. Click. Boom. It's in my inbox. Um, and not only that, it's in my inbox. It's in my Google Drive. If I set it to a file, it's mm -hmm. it's present for me to go back to uh, very, very easily. And so we taught about events and data change actions, and then we let you do part A. We taught about a process and how to include a step based on that data change. And then we let you do part B. Um, and then like the task, I think there's three different options for how you can write that. Yeah. With an expression. And so we taught you all three of those options and then we did part C so that you could see from start to finish why you're doing what you're doing to make it happen. Yeah. I, I feel like this is one of the more like, foundational parts of building automations. And it's yeah. also not a very intuitive concept to learn as if you're a beginner um, in learning AppSheet, it's not intuitive to add a column for generating a report. Um, yeah. And so that kind of goes back all the way to what we're talking about data structure and how important that is. And so um, with this course, you might be opened up to some new ideas that you're like, I did not even know that that was possible. And, um, and then you learn this concept and you just start building your, um, your knowledge base on how to build different features into your apps that you never thought were possible, but just with a few um, different changes, you start really being able to do a lot more inside of AppSheet. For sure. Awesome. Okay. How about lab three? You said this one was another one of your favorites, Deanna? Yeah. So lab three is actually the... Um... I used to be a teacher, guys, so I'm going to use this word, but it's like our summative assessment. It's the it's the test that comes at the end to say, hey, you learned all of these things through the parts of lab one, and they were not all done in one fail swoop. You, you did them like, okay, module one, module two, module three, here's how I'm going to participate. Mm -hmm. So module or lab three actually uses all of the things that you learned about through lab one to build an SMS message that is generated when yeah. a defect is found. So, hey, here's the scenario. Now here's how we're gonna do this. So this lab is built like most others that we build in our courses, um, but it comes to us in module four after you have learned all of the content. And so, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, SMS messages are really crucial um, and parts of different business processes. So this is a concept that I haven't seen a lot of of you know um information on um and so seeing it in our course is really cool um i might even want to explore this and see what's possible with with sms because i haven't really used that that part of app sheet too much i like it because i don't know like i've been out of work a little bit this week doing some stuff like yeah. my ac going out in the middle of june it oh, was man. like come on yeah and so the ability for if I could get text messages based on like if a defect is found on a car or like yeah. if something's going wrong with a course, if that could come to me in a text message, then I could deal with it without having to be in front of my computer. Yeah. And so now, is that always a good thing? No. So Austin, don't send me text messages <laughs> just to be funny about an app. Okay. <laughs> but um, it does 
help with some real life things that are happening. Yeah. You know, to be able to keep work moving and keep people moving forward in the midst mm -hmm. of whatever else is going on. Right. Awesome. All right. All right. So. Austin, I'm going to click this button and we're going to hope for the best, bud. Yes. There we go. There it is. It you got it. It's beautiful. <laughs> uh, I'm going to tell y'all it's over here on this screen. So uh, when I'm not staring at you. <laughs> <laughs> she is All right. so, showing y'all the new course. This is our course library with the pro subscription. You get access to all of these courses, which is a beautiful thing. I mm -hmm. want to show you if you click see details, um, it shows you each of the objectives. So for instance, if your boss is like, why do you want me to pay for this course? Uh, what will you learn? We've written out specifically based on what's covered measurable like objectives for you to know this is what I'm going to accomplish in this course. Mm -hmm. um, and we've also broken it down by module. So let's say that you're like, oh, I need module one and two today, uh, but I don't need three and four till later. Well, then go to module one and two and then go to a different course because you'll get access to all of them. Uh, the other thing this page does is it walks you through all of our modules. So you can see what is in each module. You can see the labs and how we did a kickoff as well as here's part A and then a kickoff and here's part A for lab two. Mm -hmm. um, and you just keep going. So you can see all of that before ever entering into the course. You can also see that before actually subscribing. So if you were like, why do these people think their courses are so great? Well, because they are number one, but number two, <laughs> you can actually go see it on this page before actually um, committing to a subscription. So yeah. check it out. Um, yeah. Are we ready? I'm ready, Deanna. All right. Uh, I'm seeing a comment that App Sheet Essentials was taken out. That may be mm -hmm. an error because it is still present for me. Mm -hmm. Let me know if. I think it might have something to do with the way it's sorting. Um, okay. Uh, so those cards are sorted. It seems like it's only sorted to show six courses at a time. Um, so you might have to drill in to another view to, to find the course that you're looking for. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, but if you have any more problems or if you can't find it, we will we'll yeah. get that to you. Uh, right. But it is still there. Yes. Okay. So um, first, we always start with the same kind of screen. We walk you through like, hey, keep up. Um, here are the things you'll need to know about this course. We've also given you a walkthrough of the labs. So, hey, the labs are going to be different in this course than any other that you've seen in our platform. So here's an introduction of what you're going to be doing in each. Um, we welcome you to our AppSheet Toolbox extension. Uh, this is a godsend uh, for yes. sure. Yeah. So we will walk you through that. But then we kick off the actual content. And so first and foremost, you know, the number one question in my brain, Austin, was why are we calling it automations, but talking about bots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, yeah. where did the word change come from? Mm. What's happening? Yeah. So I started exploring this and I was like, oh, oh, this is good. And so I've actually shared it because I noticed in the last special event that a customer was asking the same question. And I was like, good. Cause I know yeah. you've built an app before. So you yeah. are <laughs> wondering the same thing I am. Yeah. Um, we walked through, here's the picture I told you all about. So first of all, anywhere in our LMS, if you click a picture, it will automatically expand for you. Um, but this is the picture I was talking about. So yes, I see it, but I'm like, well, why is the action up here and the tasks down here? Or what does that mean here to here? What is the, what's happening there? And so in this course, we've broken down this picture to be a, a true process. Like, what does it mean? And how are we getting from step A to step B um, and making things work well? So mm -hmm. we've gone through and we've given you just a brief synopsis on all of this. Um, we have quizzes embedded. Very cool. It's always, it always makes you a little nervous, Austin, when you're presenting live and it like yeah. takes a second and it's like, okay, just it's breathe. going great. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 
Yes. Uh, but we have quizzes embedded where you can see, hey, do I understand? I'm mm -hmm. going to tell you if you can answer these questions, then you are probably ready for our certification. So yeah, we build our quizzes based on how we build our certification questions. And so there should be the ability to study something and actually know what's on the test. Mm -hmm. um, so, all right. Module two, I want to show you all the things possible. Do y'all see that these are options? These are the options I was telling you about. So, hey, you can trigger a bot in a several different ways. Which way is best? Well, it tells you like, hey, here's when you would use that type of option. Oh, and that's cool. Here's when you would use this option. So we're talking about this row. Yeah. Depending on where you are in your app sheet journey, you may not know about this row. So yeah. obviously you probably wouldn't use this option right out the gate. Uh -huh. um, but if you do, hey, here's something to know about this. Um, that is super helpful, guys, because you're going to run into a bunch of situations where if you're building for clients or if you're building for your own company or your own workflows and the more options or scenarios that you have to pull from, um, the easier it's going to be able to you will be able to build those features into your apps. Yeah. Um, so that's huge. Really cool uh, option set right there, Deanna. All right. I'm going to show off lab one part A that I talked about earlier. Nice. So um, first, uh, all of our labs come with a printable document. And I'm sorry, it's kind of small on the screen y'all are seeing, but I hope it's good enough for you. Yeah. Um, but this document is printable and it walks you through all of the parts of the lab for mm -hmm. that. So that if you wanted to print it off and follow up with it later, uh, you could. But that document is found also here in step-by-step -step instructions. Every image can be clicked and expanded upon so you can see exactly what's happening within the app that you have for us and how to build accordingly. Nice. And then every lab, every part, every lab has a video from Justin, who created this course for you, walking mm -hmm. you through the lab itself. So if there's confusion or anything, there's the lab video for you so that you're like, oh, I just really want to watch this in a video form. Well, there yeah. it is. Gotcha. Let's go. um, the other thing to note is that everywhere in our LMS is this need help button. Mm. When that button is clicked, it's, hey, I have a question about the content or, hey, I found a bug in the course because I hate to say it, but I'm not perfect. I just, it's just really offensive to me. I just, I just want to be awesome completely. But, you know, one day, Austin, one day. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but you can click this. It generates an email immediately to my inbox to which I assign to one of our developers or I reach out to you. Mm -hmm. And within 72 hours, you have a response from us to help you either answer something that needs answering or help you with something that is broken. Um, we want your experience with AppSheet training to always lead you to something better. Mm -hmm. And so if that's the case, this is a good way to start for us. Mm -hmm. So if you have any questions through the course or you find a bug, please drop it in here and we'll get back to you quickly. Um, steps and processes. So we broke down each step and we talked about like, hey, these are the actions that are included in that. These are things to think about. This is a handout that is not showing up for you today, but it will. I promise. Yes. <laughs> um, you know, and it keeps going. So like, hey, what are the options for calling a process? This one I'm going to show you because I'm going to tell you, I told you that you could Google things and sure it might be great. I Googled call a process and I Googled return values and man alive, that stuff. I was like, what, what is that saying? I just, yeah. it's, I showed one of our develop. I showed Justin and I was like, Justin, does our stuff explain this better? And he goes, yes. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. So yes, you can find Googleable information, but this is better. I, I think if That's I'm right. wrong, let me know. Yeah. Justin yes. said so. So it's it's Justin's fault. No. <laughs> um, but yeah, this this content was built to say, can you understand it after you've read it? Can you mm -hmm. know how to implement it into your own app? 
Why would you want to? Um, when's it best to use call a process or when should I just do it like this over here? Mm -hmm. um, so we explore all of those things. Here's lab one part B. It's really short, but it's because it's only part B. We're only going to cover the step that we're building at that point. And then module four, which I think is my favorite part because it just brings it all home. Um, we do two big labs and then we finish up the two labs that we've been doing throughout the course. And that's it. So there it is, Austin. Sweet. Looks great, Deanna. This is going to be a fun course to like move through and just get expert experience and knowledge on how to build yeah. automation. I mean, that is a, a must have uh, experience and knowledge for building on AppSheet because um, that's what the tool is made for is yeah. creating those automations. Sweet. All right. Well, are you guys ready to get into some live Q&A? Oh, ready? yes. Ready, Deanna? It looks like we've got some questions in the chat. I've tried to answer a few of them, um, but I think, Deanna, you also have some questions as well. Which ones did you want to hit first? Well, first of all, I just really like that this person, whoever it is, is called This and That. Yeah. Like a strong title. Yes. Uh, I do want to say to explore that loan amortization, um, I would do a tech talk and check it out uh, yeah. because we'll be able to like dive into your actual use case and mm -hmm. tell you, yeah, app sheet could work, app sheet could work for you or no, mm -hmm. it might not. Um, right. But also yeah. uh, I've seen some cash flow things within app sheet mm -hmm. that I really enjoyed. Um, and so there's, there's potential there. I think a tech talk might be a great fit for that. Yeah. Um, and if you're looking to like do more data visualization stuff, you might want to look into data studio as well. Um, that is a very great Google product that also allows you to do even more robust data visualization and dashboards, um, yeah. from Google sheets data. So if you're using Google sheets and you've got it, you know, got your data normalized and whatnot. You can also use AppSheet to kind of upload your CSV files and download them um, and then integrate that into Data Studio. So that that's an option for you as well. Um, and yeah, yeah and there's then, just, yeah, oh, go ahead, okay. Deanna. <laughs> we had a question about, is it possible to address a single email to a list of emails on a table? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and it actually, it, it can be a little easier than even using a select statement on there. And we talk yeah. about that in this course. So, um, yeah, we have a whole part of it because we, I think we either do several emails or we just tell you about it, but, but it's in there. Um, yeah. so yes. And then. Yeah, another option for that is if you have a reference column to the user table, you can just call that column in the to field and anybody that you select on that on that reference column um, can be added to that email thread. Um, I use yeah. enum lists with a base type of ref to the user table um, and then select all of the people I want on that email thread and then it sends it to them. So that that's one way to do it, but uh, select expression is also possible there as well. Yeah. And then the app sheet essentials things, I, I want to revisit it because I'm seeing where we need to add something into our site uh, for you to see all of those courses because now we have more than six. So I will be um, trying to resolve that today uh, just so you're aware. I don't remember who asked me that question, but mm, yeah. um, I'll be working on resolving that today. The course is still there. All of mm. it is still there. And if you go to your actual profile, you'll be able to pull it. But from the training page, I'm not seeing it. So yeah. just so y'all know, we're going to work on resolving that issue today. Uh, fun fact, we actually built all of it. And so the LMS you're seeing, the learning management system where the courses are, all of that was built by us. And so that's yeah. why we have that spot of find a bug, let us know. Mm -hmm. um, because it's... Yeah, we're, we're building and improving and, and doing all kinds of things 
but we are a small team and very um we want to troubleshoot as quickly as possible for you for your experience mm -hmm. to be great so yeah austin i think that's all the questions from me sweet in the chat in the chat so i'm going to kick us off now with a couple other questions so while we're pull we're we want y'all to have a blast asking any question you have whether about the course or about other courses whatever so to practice to make sure y'all know how to use that chat if you have been in a past webinar or special event with us you know that austin's wife buys him shirts that are man just so so adventurous okay <laughs> so i just need you in the chat if you have joined us for an event before please just let us know what is your favorite austin from app sheet training shirt um i just need to know <laughs> so i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and go first i'm gonna say it's the paper crane one uh he wore it yesterday i was really disappointed but <laughs> the one today has lightning bolts on it yes. uh, which is just electrifying i think it's how i'm supposed to say it <laughs> <laughs> that's a good word for it uh but also yeah. feel free drop your questions in the chat because we would love to answer them yeah very nice um do i get to answer what my favorite shirt is yep okay let's see i my favorite one of my adventure shirts to use your words is oh I haven't worn it that often, but I have one. Um, there's a gas station <laughs> down here in Texas called Bucky's, and they had a Bucky's shirt that has all the Bucky's guy all over it. <laughs> so if you have not been to Bucky's, it's also a fun little Texas thing. So <laughs> it's not only in Texas anymore, Austin. It's expanded. oh really? Um. Yeah. Now I got to tell y'all my least favorite shirt of Austin's. Oh gosh. It's like <laughs> I almost wore that one. Skittles just exploded on his shirt. It's yeah. pretty wild. I think you wore it last time. Mm -hmm. And I wore a white shirt. It was like I yeah. wore the absence of color and he wore all color. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was pretty wild. Yeah. All right. So next question. If you've done any of our courses before, What's your favorite one? Or what's a course you would like to see in the future? Um, yeah, let us know. And Kendall, yes, that's the paper crane shirt. I agree with you, bud. Nice. So what is your favorite app sheet training course? Yeah. My favorite app sheet training course um, was app sheet essentials and I took it before it was on the LMS. And so, um, that was when we were doing live boot camps. but mm -hmm. just understanding database design blew my mind. <laughs> that concept is just incredible yeah. because, because it's the foundation of everything. Uh, I mean, like, you were talking about the orchestra analogy. Um, I come from a music background, so I love relating everything back to music. And um, with with recording stuff, if you don't get it right on the recording, then the mix or the master is not going to fix your song. If you got right. a bad recording, then it's going to be bad all the way through. But and the, the same thing applies for designing an app. If you if your data structure is out of whack and you need to regenerate or restructure your database, then that's what that course teaches you how to do. Um, mm -hmm. You need to create that structured relational database so you can do all of these automations and do um, expressions and have dynamic data and logic within your app. Then this is the course to take that app sheet essentials just really puts it all together. So you know how to, design an app from beginning to end. I got to tell you, Austin, uh, that is a great course, but man, whew, that one, that yeah. one was a wild adventure. It went from being a 12 hour boot camp mm. across six days to being yeah. a 
I think it became an eight hour boot camp across two, no, no, six hours across three days, mm. and then eight hours across two days. And then it became a live or an on demand experience. Yeah. And I call it an experience because we took that 12 hour idea and we like just started to like really zoom in to what are really the essentials of AppSheet. Yeah. And then and we build labs to practice those things. Yeah. Uh, and so it is a heavy, heavy course, but it is so good. Yeah. I, I, we, we do these every month uh, mm -hmm. and not, not because it's what we're doing today, but I was just telling Austin a few days ago as we were preparing for this, I think this automations course is my favorite because nice. we've learned so much from the four other courses we developed. Mm. that this course felt like we finally hit a, a rhythm and a groove Yeah. to understand truly like this cannot be Googled. Mm -hmm. This is how to best build it right here. Yeah. Uh, and these are powerful things that people are doing through what we're saying in here. Mm -hmm. And so this course, I feel like, and I would love to know in the chat if you, you know, what other favorites there are, but this course I feel like is going to be one of the most powerful that we currently have in our library. Yeah. Um, yeah. To see the power of once you've built a strong app, now what the, the now what is going to start being answered in this course and the next one being released. Yeah. So very cool. All right. Well, Austin, I think we've answered so many questions so well that people just don't have questions. Today. Yeah. So there. I'm going to take that as a win. Let's go. Uh, I'm here for it. Yes. Awesome. All right. Oh, well, wait, we, we have a, we have oh, a question. We have a question. How do you limit rows in Google sheets? If you uh, let me throw this up on the live chat. Yeah, We actually discussed that in our app sheet essentials course, uh, as well as I believe in our logic and expressions course. Uh, but Austin, if you also just have an answer for him, that's great. Um, yeah. So I think what you're wanting to do is create a slice. Um, of data. And so, um, Deanna, what, which course would you say goes over slices the most extensively? Would uh, it be? Ex extensively? Let me pull it real quick. Can you go ahead and move to a, let me see. Yeah. I can keep talking about this question yeah, though. Keep, keep talking yeah. for me. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to reread the question. So I make sure I'm oh, understanding hey, it correctly. Austin, I already found oh, it. You got it. Okay. Logic and expressions in module three. Mm. Uh, and guys, just so you'll know, I got that from just hitting the C details about the course. Uh, but we yeah, actually yeah. do an entire lab on slices. And I believe this is actually what we address in that lab. Mm. Uh, so David, if you go on to logic and expressions, uh, it's the lighter blue course in our library and you hit lab three slices, you'll be able to dive right in. Um, to, to learn about this. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. And, and so the slice is only going to allow you to like, um, take a portion of that data. Um, but in the UX tab, you would, instead of targeting the whole table, you're going to target a slice of that table. Um, and so for your UX view, um, instead of going to like show, we'll just call it work orders. You're going to show only my current work orders. Um, and that your, my current work orders would be a slice of users who um, have the most recent work orders. Um, and then you could just denote that that view is showing this, um, this kind of data. Um, that's one way you could go about doing it. Um, I'm trying to think if there's another way, um, but yeah, I would start there. Um, and then David, if you have um, more questions about that, we can jump on a tech talk um, and kind of dive into your use case a little bit more. Um, and also I could ask some of the guys around the office to see um, what they think about this, but yeah, yeah. great question. Um, oh, right. also, um, if you want to see descending and ascending, um, there's an option for sorting in, in the view and you can sort by, um, you can actually, okay, this, this is what I was thinking. You can actually sort by the rows 
the row number. Um, we don't often recommend sorting by row number. We often recommend using a date time column and then sorting by that. And you can select to sort by descending um, or ascending, whichever one you want um, to show at the top. Yeah, Instead, and again, that yeah. that logic and expressions course actually dives into ascending, descending, and the proper mm -hmm. ways, um, yeah. as well as the limits. And yeah, like what will slow down your app versus what will help mm -hmm. um, to make all of that happen. So, right. Yeah, we dive into that for sure. Uh, yes. Throughout that course. Sweet. Well, thanks, thanks, David. That was a, that was a fun question to answer. All right. Are we ready to keep going, Deanna? Let's do it. All right. All right, guys. So if you're still with us, thank you for joining us. Um, we're going to do a little bit of, re of a review. Um, we had our Q&A with Deanna, and then we did our new course release, and then had some time for that live Q&A with you guys. Um, so uh, again, thank you for joining our um, session today. We still have some more uh, to talk about. So if you're interested in learning how to sign up, that'll be next. Um, and so just to get you guys kind of ready for that, if you're still interested in learning more about how to sign up for AppTreeTraining.com and get some of our professional content um, so that you can really unlock the full power of AppSheet, uh, be sure to stick around. Um, so if you are interested in learning uh, more about our um, professional subscription, as well as how to just get access to our free subscription, um, which is our community subscription. Just go ahead and throw it in the chat. Um, yep, I'm interested in learning more. Um, and then we'll get started with that. So we'll take a quick break um, and allow you guys to throw that in the chat. Um, I'd love to hear feedback if you are interested. Um, like I said, just throw it in the chat. Just a quick yes. I want to learn more and I can um, go ahead and continue on with our slides. But um, we'll be here for a few more minutes to kind of walk you through um, how to learn more about AppSheet training and kind of get started with us. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm pumped about this new course um, and um, just excited to see um, how the community embraces it, Deanna. Um, yeah, for sure. I, it's, you know, it's, it's funny the, the way a new course build goes, we go from like, hurry, 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 think, think, think yeah. to this day where it's like, oh, here it is. Yeah. Here we go. Now everybody love it, please. You know? <laughs> yeah. I think it's going to be great. Um, the concept is really essential to learning app sheet. Um, and lots of companies are starting to use app sheet now. Yeah. Um, and so it's just going to be, it's just going to be part of the work environment. It's going to be kind of like Google Sheets. If you, if you're in a professional work environment, you're going to want to learn how to use this tool, so you can get well. Get that mm -hmm. Austin, I mean, it's kind of like, and guys, I don't, you know, those who are with us, I got to tell y'all a story about how I build nice Google Sheets, and I'm like very proud of them. And then five seconds later, one of our developers walks in and he goes, "Hey, I saw you using this sheet." I built you an entire app for that. And it's yeah. like, what? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but I have a pretty Google sheet and they're like, yes, but now you have a pretty app. And it's like, all right. Yeah. And so now anytime I have a Google sheet, I kind of have to keep it secret so that people don't <laughs> take it and build an app. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So this course does, I, it just encourages them to do that more, uh, mm -hmm. which I don't know if that's helpful to me or not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, I'm going to quickly move through um, these slides here um, in case y'all are wanting to learn more about AppSheet training and kind of how to get started with us. Um, so thank you guys um, who are sticking around with us. And let's go ahead and get into um, how to get started with AppSheet training. Um, so it's free to sign up and we would love for you to join our growing community. We have over 4,000 people signed up at AppSheetTraining.com on our community tier. Um, you're also going to get access to build with innovative tools like AppSheet Toolbox. So Deanna quickly showed you that on our AppSheet training website. This is a great tool for building out expressions as well as auto-filling um, former expressions that you've made in the past that are pretty complicated, um, but you just want to throw them in um, to another app or another part of your app. 
Um, you can save those snippets and kind of add them in whenever you need to use that more complex expression. Um, another great feature about AppSheet Toolbox is you can also see your full schema. So you not only have access to all your tables and your database structure, you also have access to the views that you've built inside of AppSheet. So if you're doing deep links or link to view or any kind of um, expression that's gonna be using different views in AppSheet, it's all there in the AppSheet toolbox. So it's a great tool and it's free to use um, with your community subscription. We also have our professional tier that's gonna give you access to the leading training materials for building on AppSheet. Um, so we'll talk about that in just a minute. Um, so with our community subscription, you're gonna get access to that toolbox, your, your webinars, blogs and articles, and the AppSheet IQ. It's free to sign up. We'd love for you to join our community and we're gonna send you, you know, the most relevant information regarding AppSheet. So that way you can stay up to date with the best practices and um, what we believe is essential for learning on AppSheet. All right, and then for those of you that are ready to move into that professional subscription, you're gonna still have everything in community, but you're also gonna get that immersive learning experience. And we're adding new courses um, to our content library every month. We also are gonna give you access to that AppSheet certification, as well as 15% off our consulting. And plus, you get seven days to try it out for free. Um, no questions asked. You can get in there and see if these courses are right for you. Um, maybe learn a few concepts along the way. And then if it's not a good fit for you or you're not using AppSheet as much um, as you thought you would, then you can cancel it at any time. But we'd love for you to check it out. Um, and you can sign up today. Head over to AppSheetTraining.com. All right. So what are you going to get? So... This is a quick view of all the courses that we have. We have six courses available on this view, uh, but now we've added the other one, which is AppSheet Automation. So you're just gonna continue to see this library grow throughout the year. Um, and we value that at $1,174. Um, so we could sell these courses individually and price them out this way, but we want to make sure you're getting access to the courses that you want and then giving you the option to pick which courses you would like to learn. And I'm actually going to switch my view here to this way. That way you can see the full picture. All right. Um, let's keep moving. My pointer will work. There we go. All right. So our certification is going to be about 90 minutes in length. You can export your badge to LinkedIn or your resume. 80% um, is passing and then you'll become a leader in the business automation. Um, and so we highly recommend taking this course. It is great for um, helping you gain clients or just showcasing your expertise on the AppSheet platform. All right, we also have AppSheet consultants available. So our team is trained on how to build the best way in AppSheet. They work with clients every day um, with multiple different use cases coming through the door. Um, so this is a one-on-one -on -one service. You have about an hour long session. Um, and we have three different packages um, that you can purchase to meet with our developers. Um, so this is going to allow you to build your app with a professional app sheet developer and really gain access to how to build um, your specific app with one of our developers. And so what's included in our new automations course, you're going to get those four learning modules, a custom app template. And again, if you want this uh, starter app template, it is in the description below. You also get that customized Google Doc template, labs, PDF downloads, and so much more. Um, so this is a total value of $79 for this specific course. Um, but again, we have the whole library uh, of courses available to you now. Ed Constantine is one of our uh, valued customers here at AppSheet Training, and he is learning by doing, he says. He's building an essential set of 12 apps with his own hands, and he's scheduled two-hour coaching sessions with Craig. So like I said, we have trained AppSheet consultants here um, who are ready to meet with you and take your app to the next level. Um, so if you're looking to build out your app with um, some more advanced features, our, our guys are trained to help you build beyond what you thought was possible. Um, and so you get to share your screen um, with our developers and kind of work on things um, that you are having specific questions about. 
Um, and Ed also says this model fits his mode of learning perfectly, and he is making great progress on his apps. All right, so kind of wrapping it all up, uh, the professional subscription again has a total value of over $1,000. You're going to get that 15% off consulting, and it's free to try, so you don't have anything to lose, um, but you are going to gain a lot of knowledge and really learn how to build on AppSheet the best way possible. All right, so... Like I said, uh, you can get started today by heading over to AppSheetTraining.com. I'm going to go ahead and start our timer here. Um, and you can schedule a tech talk to learn more about our services, as well as um, next steps um, for your getting started on your learning journey or even setting up time to meet with our AppSheet consultants. And again, all of this is available to you for only $39 a month. So we wanted to make it uh, really easy for you to get access to these leading training materials if you want to learn how to build on AppSheet, this is the way to do it. Um, and um, also with that, if you want to save the date for July 25th at 10 a.m., we'll be um, kicking off our next webinar, Five Ways to Simplify Work with AppSheet. So this is going to be a fun one. Me and Cam have already started planning this one out, and he's got some cool ideas in the pipeline um, to share with you guys. So he's going to be um, creating some of the content for it and teaching you guys some cool ways that you can simplify your work with AppSheet. Okay, so let's get into some of these questions right here. Which course should I start with? Um, so I always recommend uh, starting with our, um, uh, the Fastlane course. And, and Deanna, do you remember the full course name for that one? Yep. So the first course is that AppSheet in the Fastlane. Okay. It's, yeah. Sweet. Yeah, so that course is great if you want to get a running start on AppSheet. Maybe you've just started learning about AppSheet and just want to test the waters and see if it's the right fit for you and for what you're wanting to build. This course will definitely get you um, on the right track. Um, the cool thing about this course is that template that you're going to build in AppSheet in the Fastlane is also um, a version of the template that you're going to get in AppSheet automations. Um, so we've kind of tried to connect our courses together so that way you can see the logical progression of how to build on AppSheet. Um, the next course that I would recommend is AppSheet Essentials. So if you're wanting to learn the full scope of how to build on AppSheet, that course is really great from teaching you all the foundational knowledge that you need all the way to the uh, some more advanced concepts, um, but then leading into um, our advanced logic and expressions courses. And then if you guys have questions, feel free to throw them in the chat as well. All right. Okay, which courses come with an app template? So right now we have about four courses plus our new one that are gonna um, come with that app template. So if you're looking for template apps to kind of help you um, build out your apps along the way, um, we have five app templates. We also have a lot more in our app sheet portfolio. So that's also in the link uh, or in the description down below if you want to get access to our suite of app templates. Um, it's down in the description below. And those are great ways to just kind of get started and see like, okay, I see how y'all built out a user table or how you build out um, a work orders table and so on and so forth. So if you're looking for ways to design apps and different ideas, check out our um, full portfolio of apps uh, so you can kind of get an idea of how to start building on AppSheet. All right. And then will I be able to build my own app after taking these courses? And I would say with an overwhelming yes. Um, that's why we built these courses because we want you guys to be able to build out your own apps. Um, I really like the concept of generalizing a skill. Um, so I don't believe in just learning by copy and pasting. Um, you should be able to take whatever idea that has been presented to you and be able to make it into your own. Um, so that really shows that you have learned the concept and not just implemented the concept. Um, if you can take it and make it your own. And so with that in mind, Deanna, of course, has built these courses to be designed that way to really help you guys um, make the apps that you want to make, not just the apps that are shown in the courses. 
All right. And then who can you contact for more information? Um, in the description below, you can set up a tech talk with Kale, and he would be happy to meet with you guys and learn more about your use cases, um, as well as answer any questions about which platform is right. Should I go with AppSheet for my use case, or should I go with a different platform? Which course is right for me? Um, should I start with AppSheet Essentials, or should I start with Advanced Logic? Um, pretty much anything that you're wanting to learn about how to build on AppSheet, um, the next step that would be great for you to take is signing up for a tech talk. That way you can get those specific questions answered by Kale. Um, and so with that, I would um, say if you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe, and then also schedule a call with Kale. Um, and then you can find those links um, to everything that I've talked about so far in the description down below. I'm not seeing any more chats pop up um, for us here, Deanna. So I think we are good right. to go. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, be sure to check out our other videos and we'll be sure to link them up here down below. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one, guys. Thank you.